YouTube. It's early morning. It's about, I'll say 7 a.m. I'm in Houston, Texas. And I'm at the pilots. And what I gotta do today is pretty much, it's a load that was supposed to go somewhere. Something happened. So now I'm gonna get paid to go take this load somewhere. It's not far at all, it's real close. So I'm gonna go pick that up and then uh, pretty much get ready to drop off, you know? Let you guys see me in action. So let's get this started, you feel me? Richie Hotshot, let's go. All right, so look like plans have changed again like they always do when you're a hotshot driver. So right now I was uh, supposed to go help out with some load or something and go take a load that somebody else couldn't take on time and go drop it off. But uh, looks like that's not about to happen. So uh, pretty much I'm on my way to go to Ross now because I need to go get some stuff from there. So, that looked like what we about to do today, so let's get on it. And mind you, it is Christmas Eve, so I'm not really looking forward to just having to find a load right now, so it is what it is. If I do get something, I'll get something. But as of right now, I'm going to Ross, because I need to get some shit. So, yeah, let's get on the road with it. So, I'm about to head on out. Let's go and get up out of here. Oh no. Shit. I'm about to drive through this stupid pump and then turn around. I hate when this happens. Why are there no freaking. It's like a one way entrance only. But we're going to do it like this. And keep it G. I'm pull on up. I'm so used to carrying a trailer, I keep doing extra wide turns. Alright, here we go. Just need to get a small little bit of gas to get me around for the day. So. That's what I'm about to do. this you got a car hauler just pulled up I like this truck I don't think it's better than mine, though. But I'm not here to brag. Waiting for my gas to pump. Click. All right, and we are. Things don't go as planned, so you just gotta 
keep going. So right now what I'm gonna do is just enjoy my day. It is Christmas Eve, so I'm gonna grab some stuff from Ross real quick, you know, see what they got up in there. And I'll take y'all along with me. Don't worry, we gonna get to it. Y'all gonna get to see me hoss and sit around and get loaded up. But it probably won't happen at this point till Thursday, which will be like another two days from now. So, you know, we'll pretty much see where it goes from here. But as of now, we're riding through the city. And I'm headed to Ross. So, let's go. in here and get some stuff i usually like to see what kind of stuff they got in there they usually have a bunch of good clothes and shoes and stuff for the low so let's go check it out y'all with me let's go
so that was a complete burnt mission. I wasn't thinking about it being Christmas Eve and there was gonna be a million people in there, so yeah, I'm going back to my truck now. I'm gonna go chill. I am kind of hungry, so probably thinking about going hit this Taco Bell up. You feel You've me? arrived. Now it's telling me I arrived. I've been here. Stupid. But anyway, let's go hit this Taco Bell up then. All right, so my California ass is used to being able to just walk and run across the street. I come over here, and in order to get to over there, Taco Bell, I gotta go through all these ditches and shit. Man, I tell you about Texas, they make you work. Now it's traffic coming, shit. We gonna make it. Now I gotta walk on the side of this fucking ditch. Well. Oh, shit, turtles. That nigga just jumped in the water. Oh, shit, I wonder if there's a snake and shit out here. I'm just walking in this damn grass. I heard about Texas. Ah! I made it. All right. I no longer need you guys' assistance. I made it across the street. I don't know how safe it is. It was, but I made it. And here goes the place that I'm making it to. All right, what it do, YouTube? Uh, so I finished that up, got my Taco Bell in me. Now, uh, I know it's probably a lot of people out there, if you've been watching this, my my new vlog page, channel, whatever, you probably wouldn't like, okay, who the hell is this guy? Is he really a hot shot trucker and how the hell did he get into this? Being that I'm from California also, so, uh, pretty much. Uh, how I got into this to say uh, I had a friend who basically was who stays in Houston and he was telling me about this how people were just buying trucks and really like you know uh, trucks and trailers and then they just hauling equipment around so I'm like oh that sounds cool like I love driving so like that's always been something I liked so then that was just right up my alley. He was just like, yeah, but the whole thing is, if you really want to make some real money, you're going to have to leave California, basically come to Houston so I can start booking all my loads, at least from Houston, because I can get way more. And California is more like a, it's more of a place for high shot uh, car haulers. The truckers who are out there hauling cars, yeah, California is great for that because you don't even see hot shot trucks out there pulling like uh, construction equipment and stuff. All you see is just if you see a hot shot trucker in freaking California, he's hauling cars. So that's, you know, it's probably good money in the car game out there. But out this way, I wanted the big bucks. So, you know, I got into this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. When I first got into it, you know, I went through hell and hard water. I thought it was just some easy stuff. I was just spending money. Uh, I didn't even have a license. So I was just driving. Uh, I got the car impound, my truck and trailer impounded about two times. Uh, I was put out of service before four times in one day. Uh, but several times I've been put out of service was driving with no license. And then um, I got my license back, got everything situated. Uh, well, let me go back. At that point, I freaking, I left. I left Houston. I went back to California because I didn't have my license. So I went to get all my court stuff straight, situated all that out. Um, 
And then, yeah, I got back up, got, got my license, and hopped back on the plane. If you can see a couple videos back, I hopped on the plane and came right back out here. Um, but this time I came with a better plan. Like this time I said, I will buy me some trucks, like a few war trucks, and put them out there. Because I do have, I have trucks, but other trucks, but I have drivers in those particular trucks. So, you know, they're driving right now. And that's basically, I went back to Cali. I left all my drivers out here. Well, I didn't leave them, they live in, in Houston, but I basically, I went to Cali, I told them, y'all do what y'all do, keep making money. I'll make sure y'all get dispatched and everything. And I just went back to Cali, which is basically, you know, getting my money, doing a few other things I had to do out there, more in the Hollywood area. So, I got that done. Well, I went to, I went to Cali, they got that done, you could say. Uh, and you know, it's just been going good since then. They all get money. It's not, never been too many problems on the road with any of the trucks, you know. Uh, if you see in my last couple videos, I got this, my Ford that I just got. It's the oldest truck I've had. But I heard that older trucks, you know, you can make a lot of money at. Basically, what I paid for this truck, I made in one trip before, so. With that truck, I'm gonna really put it to work, put it to good use. You know, um, it runs good, it has no miles on it really, due to, the reason why I got the white truck so cheap is this. It was one of these uh, storm trucks that was like, got flooded out, and it had already been setting up for a long time, so then it got flooded out, so then I just basically had it drained, cleaned, everything completely redone on it, all the wiring and stuff. So now it runs like a champ that the radio works, the AC, everything works on it. And um, I got it really cheap, you know, and that's why. You go look, you can find good deals on, on cars, you know, just because it says it's a 06, you don't know how it could have been setting up since 06. So you never know, you gotta take a chance sometimes, and that's what I'm doing, so. But anyway, we'll find out how that truck goes in the future. But as of now, I'm in my Dodge. You know, uh, just getting it in. So, yeah, that's pretty much where that goes. And anything else, I'll let y'all know. You feel me? Let's go.